Do you ever worry about your mail piling up at the post office or your sticks and bricks home? Well, we have put that worry to rest and we're going to show you how using a mail forwarding service can help you get your mail anywhere from any place, anytime. Until recently, like many RVers, when we were away on a longer trip, we would ask the post office to hold our mail for us. But here's the rub. The U.S. Post Office will only hold your mail for 30 days, so you have to have an assigned starting date and an ending date. And with many of our RV trips, we didn't know when we were going to come back. In addition, we wanted to sometimes be gone well more than 30 days. But we needed our mail. We had checks that we needed to get. We had bills that we would have to pay. Even though we try and pay most of our bills online, uh, there were always some that come through every month that we'd have to pay. But those problems are now in the past. We can stay away as long as we want by using a mail forwarder. Just do a web search on mail forwarding services and you'll find lots to choose from. The one we chose was Dakota Post, based in South Dakota. We were familiar with them because they were guests on our podcast a few months back. Plus, they offered a discount to members of the FMCA RV Club. They have several different levels and lengths of service that you can choose from and costs ranging from $12 to $19 a month. We signed up online, also filling out a form that the Postal Service requires. The plan we chose is called the Virtual Mailbox. Once your mail starts arriving at Dakota Post, they take a picture of the envelope, and you can see that from your dashboard. From there, you have three options. You can delete it, which removes the image from your mailbox, shred it, which we use for junk mail, or scan it. If we want to see the envelope's contents, Dakota Post then opens it and scans the content. They charge a dollar for every envelope opened and 50 cents for each page scanned. Now, we can also have the mail packaged up and sent to us wherever we happen to be. It arrives by priority U.S. mail. We use this for the important stuff we want. Bills, checks, letters, our favorite magazines, boxes that arrived in the mail. We do that once a month or so. The cost is extra and has ranged from $5 to $7. So that's our on-the-road mail solution, and we've been using it since the first of the year, and we only wish we would have started using it a long time ago. Now, Dakota Post is the mail forwarder we use, but as I said at the beginning, there are many, many other mail forwarders that you can choose from. You may have one, and if you'd like to suggest that, please use the comments below. Also, while you're here, Please, before you go, subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland, and thanks for watching.